Good morning, beautiful people of the world. Good morning. It is Tuesday, June 18th. And I know that because it's one of my good friend's birthday. How you doing this morning? How you doing? How you doing? Whew, Lord, have mercy. Y'all, it's so hot. It's going to be another scorcher of a day. It's cloudy right now. And it looks like it wants to rain. I see a little rain drops on the car. So it looks like it wants to rain. Mm hmm. But it's going to be another hot day, way up in the 90s again. Up in the high 90s. Yep. So, how you guys doing today? It's a beautiful day. Another day that the Lord has allowed us to see. I don't know about you, but I'm glad about it. I'm thankful to be alive and well. Because you can be alive but not be well. Amen, somebody. Amen. So, I thank God for being healthy and for having my my strength, my health and my strength. And, uh, these people be going to Dunkin' Donuts. Um, thank God for allowing me to open my eyes to see another day and to be able to get up on my own and to be able to have the uh, the activities of my limbs to be able to wash my face, brush my teeth, shower, put on my makeup, you know, fix my hair, um, to just be able to be able to take care of me. Um, we all want somebody to, you know, take care of us and pamper us, but to be able to get up in the morning and be able to do what you need to do for yourself, taking care of your, the physical attributes of yourself is a blessing. It's a blessing, it's a blessing. And I thank God for it because he didn't have to do it, but he did, and I'm so glad about it. It's a lot of people that um, I know that are sick and shut in. I have friends that aren't able to, you know, get up and take care of themselves. And um, they have to wait on somebody to assist them. And I just thank God for blessing me to be able to be, um, you know, as healthy as I can be. I, uh, the other video you'll see from yesterday, I had mentioned in that video that my doctor you know, wants me to lose some weight, which, you know, I know I need to lose some weight. My mother sent this picture of me yesterday. She was like, you can get back to that size. I was like, girl. And I'm not making excuses at all for um, me having gained weight. Um, but I do know that the older you get, the your metabolism slows down. I am in menopause, full blown menopause. And you know, it's a lot of symptoms with menopause and one of them is definitely weight gain. Um, so um, I'm doing what I can. I'm gonna do what I can. I know that I need to eat more salads, more greens, more vegetables, more fruits. Um, I know that I need to drink more water, a lot, lot more water, and um, exercise. And that's the thing I don't like to do is exercise. But it's been so hot, my, my stylist and I was going to walk um, around the park. And, you know, again, not to make excuses, but I do have this thing in my foot and this thing with my knee. So I just said, you know what? I know that if I lose some weight, if I lose some weight, I know that um, 
I know if I lose some weight that, well, the neat thing, I got a torn meniscus. So I know that with the torn meniscus, um, that's gotta be, at some point, I'm gonna have to have surgery to repair that, um, probably. But I just cannot be on or off work, you know? So this is why, um, but I know that, you know, being heavier is not helping either, you know? So, I know that for sure. But, um, you know, losing weight is hard to do. It's easy to gain, it's hard to lose it. And I am a junk eater. I love candy. I love, you know, all the stuff that make you fat. I love it, you know. And not to say that I'm going to deny myself, you know, um, things or anything like that. But I just need to stop eating the french fries and the onion rings. I love onion rings. I love my phone. is always falling this thing. Um, I love onion rings, um, cheeseburgers, you know, I love seafood, um, I love all that kind of stuff, so I need to eat more salads, you know, so that's what I'm going to do, I'm going to eat more salads. When I moved into the house, you know, a lot of the neighbors that's on the block, most of the neighbors are senior citizens um, and retirees. And I found out yesterday, it's a lot of police officers that live in um, in my neighborhood, okay? Because I know I see a lot of police officers passing by and stuff like that. So... <clears throat> When I so when I moved over there, you know, people were coming, coming, stopping by, or riding by, or saying something, you know, like, "Welcome to the neighborhood, congratulations," you know, something, you know. So when I so when I was moving in, my mailman stopped me and was like, "Hey, how you doing?" I was like, "I'm good. How are you?" He said, "I just hey, this is my name is um, we just call. I don't want to say his name, but let's just say his name is." Cletus, Cletus, but that's not, that's not his name. I don't want to say his real name on camera. So he was like, hey, how you doing? He was like, my name is Cletus, and I'm the mailman on your block. And um, um, he said, um, what's going on? What is y'all doing right here? So I introduced myself to him. I said, hi, you know, my name is Cheryl. And I said, or you call me Cece. I said, either one. And so he was like, okay, he said, so you just bought this house? And I was like, yeah. And, um, oh, Jesus. So he was like, well, welcome to the neighborhood. He was like, it's real quiet around here. He's like, I think you will like it, you know, blah, blah, blah. So I said, okay. I said, well, thank you, um, you know, for, um, you know, introducing yourself to me and everything. So I don't see him all the time. I see him every now and then. And so, um, you know, I see him and I speak and he speak or whatever. So yesterday, before I went to my mom's house, I stopped at my house because I wanted to go in to make sure that my air conditioner, my central air was working. So I saw him. So when I pulled into the neck to the block, I saw the uh, mail van you know, um, down the street. So I knew he was around. So then I saw him walking around the corner and then he was on his way coming back. 
So I said, hey, I called his name. I hey, Cletus, how you doing? He was like, hey, how you doing, Sherelle? I was like, I'm good. And I said, where's your hat? Because he had on no hat, no sun hat. And it was, the sun was at 4 o'clock yesterday here. It was going, it was going down. It seemed like it was the hottest in the afternoon, you know. So, <clears throat> he said, uh, oh, he's like, I've been doing this a long time. I don't wear no hat. I said, you need a hat on. Need on the hat to block that sun, you know. So I said, You want a bottle of water? So he said, Yeah. He said, Um, yeah. He said, He's like, Please. He was like, Yeah, I'll take a bottle of water. And I'm thinking to myself, See, when I worked outside, not I'm gonna get back to him, but when I worked outside, I would have a hat on over my, my, my forehead and I would have water, ice cold water. I would carry a cooler and I would put ice in it. I would go to the gas station, get ice, put it in my cooler. I would have a rag. I would dip that towel down in that cooler, put that rag on my, I didn't wear no makeup, no nothing. In this heat, you cannot. I put that towel on me, lay that towel on my face, on my neck, behind my neck. I had cooling wristbands. I used to wear them sleeves that would come up that would that you could get wet and I would take the water and I would soak my arms to keep myself cool. He ain't had nothing on his arms for sunburn, nothing. So anyway, he didn't have no water. Maybe he had some water in the trunk, I don't know. But I said, You want some water? So he was like, please. So I said, okay, let me go in the house and I'll get you a bottle of water. So I got him a bottle of water. And I came outside. He was walking across. He was putting some mail in the neighbor's box across the street. So I said, here you go. So he came over. He was like, oh, ooh, thank you. And I mean, it was ice cold. And uh, I had had one in the freezer. And I think that was the one that got the freezer and put in the refrigerator that morning. He was like, wow. He was like, woo. He was like, man, thank you. I said, man, it's hot out here. Just standing out there that few minutes talking to him. I wasn't sweating, but I was starting to, little beads of sweat was, you know. I said, listen here. I said, you need to get you a hat to cover your, your forehead and your neck. He said, oh, I've been doing this 24 years. You know, you can't tell men shit. Um, I've been doing this for 24 years. I'm used to it, blah, blah, blah. I said, well, I, I said, well, I said, I'm going to tell you. So I went on telling him my story about how I worked outside for a living for 10 years and behind a nasty, hot ass garbage truck because, you know, it's already hot. And then that's a truck. So you getting the heat from the truck, from the, from that truck, which is hot. He said, really? He was like, wow, you used to be, a, a used to dump garbage? I'm like, yeah. And I said, so I know what I'm talking about. I said, you need a little cooler. You need a towel. He said, well, I got a towel. So I didn't see it, but he had, had it in his pocket. He said, I got a towel. I said, no, you need a towel where you can, you know, merch, soak it down, put it down in the ice, you know, and let it get cold. So he was like, yeah. He was like, yeah, you're right. I said, it's too hot out here. I said, man, you would be a fell out. And he was like, I'm used to the heat. He said, don't really bother me. Now he was sweating, but he wasn't drenched like I would have been. So I said, okay. Then he said, oh. so here we go. So now he flirted. Not overly flirted, but he was like, oh, how you like living off over here? I said, I like it. I said, I really like it. I said, it's quiet. I said, I like that. It's not a lot of ratchetness. I said, it ain't no drama. I said, I really like that. And he said, well, it's a lot of retirees live here on this block and the next block. He said, really all around here. And then he was the one who told me that it's a lot of police officers that live in my area. I said, oh. I said, okay. He said, yeah. He said, there's a, a lot of police officers that live over here. And he said, that's one of the reasons why, you know, the neighborhood is kind of like, kind of quiet. He said, because anything that pop off, jump off, you know, he said, remember when the car they ran into the tree down here? He said, you see it was gone. He said, because they, they don't play that, you know. And I said, okay. I said, 
speak anything first. He, what he did was he gave me a compliment. He said, you were very attractive. I was like, oh, thank you. Now, I am not attracted to him at all. He is no, he is not my type. He is short. He's a little kind of stubby. Um, kind of on the plump side. Um, and he is short. Seem like he's a nice guy, but we would be friends because there's nothing, 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 nothing about him that makes me interested. Now, being real. So anyway, um, I said, oh, thank you, thank you, I appreciate that. Now, before y'all get on here with these comments about, hey, that's why I see you. y'all do it because I know it's coming I know y'all getting ready to come with them kind of comments I hear you and I understand but I have to be attracted to a man to be even remotely interested and I have to feel something you know I have to be attracted to you I, I'm just not gonna be or date somebody just because they you know well, they're a nice guy I, I gotta be able to you gotta be attracted to the, the person. I gotta be attracted. I, I do. You know, um, you could be the nicest man in the world. You could have all the money in the world. You could be great. You could be wonderful. You could be this. You could be that. But, but, if there's no attraction, there is no attraction. It's just, it just is what it is. And that's just on the real. And I'm not being mean or you know anything like that. But I gotta, I gotta, I gotta have that for you. But anyway, so um, he gave me that compliment. And I thanked him and everything. He said I would really like to take you out. And I said, oh okay. And he said, uh, are you married? He said because I don't never see uh, the times that I see you. I always see you with that young boy. I said, that's my son. He was like, oh, okay. And I said, no, I'm not married. He said, oh, I thought you was married. He said, that's why I had never started saying anything to you because I thought you were married. I said, no, I'm not married. And so he said, um, I'm not married either. And then he went on telling me that he's 52. He never, he's, he doesn't have any kids. He's never, and he's never been married. <clears throat> And he's worked at the post office for 24 years. And um, I told him how old I was when I was 54. And I have the one kid and I've never been married. So he was like, oh, all right. And he was like, yeah, well, I would like to take you out. And I said, okay. And um, I so he asked me, he said, well, let me just ask you this. Are you trying, are you, um, interested in a relationship I, and I was honest and I said well I just recently got out of a relationship or a friendship or whatever you want to call it he was laughing and I said so I'm not really ready for anything I said but I date I said I have a lot of male friends and he's going to be a friend and I said I have a lot of male friends how did I get over here I do this all the time I need to be over there. Um, I said, I have a lot of male friends. And so, he was like, oh, oh. He was like, you got a lot of male friends? I said, yeah, I do. I said, it's always nice to be friends first before you be anything with a person. And he said, yeah, you're right, you're right. And so, um, he said, well, 
saying he ready to retire um, and stuff like that. So, you know, um, he seemed like he a nice guy, like I said. But again, you know, I got to have some type of, some type of attraction to him, you know. And I just, you know, I, I don't, I don't have it. But he's a nice guy, I can tell. He's a nice guy. So, um, yeah, so, we'll see. We'll see. But I, I, I definitely would keep him as somebody, as a friend, you know. Um, and I'm going to say this. Even if he was my type, I ain't ready. You know, I'm just not, I'm just not ready, you know. I'm just not. And, um, I'm just not ready. Because to be honest with you, if I can be honest and transparent, I still think about my friend a lot. And I still want to, I still think about him. I still think about him and, you know, kind of fantasize, still think about him. You know what I'm saying? I still think about him. So, um, until, you know, um, I get him like completely out of my system and people always say well it's good to have somebody else to help you <clears throat> get somebody out of your system and I'm sure it is you know um, um, but I don't know I'm just not ready I'm just not ready I'm not ready to deal with another man and his antics and his whatever. I just, I ain't ready. I don't get me wrong. I do want somebody. I do want a companion. street right on Jeffrey and child 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 I'm looking at all of these different people outside with no clothes on yesterday and I'm like where the hell is people's clothes at I'm thinking to myself. I'm thinking to myself. Okay, I know it's hot outside. I know it's hot. Okay. I'm like, okay, I know it's hot. I know that it's really hot. It's really humid. But why y'all ain't got no clothes on? When I tell you, I don't know what was going on with this particular, uh, with these particular women that were standing outside. But when I tell you, they look so nasty and so ratchet. 
And I'm thinking to myself, come on, y'all, come on. I know it's hot, but you got to put some clothes on. You still got to put on some clothes. Where is your damn clothes at? They look nasty and gross. Oh, it's just, I mean, they just all look like they stank. And I, I know I shouldn't say it like that, but that's how they look. I was like, wow. I was like, where's y'all clothes? I know it's hot, but you still got to put on some clothes. You still got to look presentable. Biker shorts on. They look dirty. I'm like, what is going on? Then I, then I drove a little bit further, and this man was walking down the street. He looked like he was about to give birth to some, some quadruplets. He didn't have on no shirt. Pants hanging off. Underwear look dirty. I'm like, what is going on? I'm like, the heat is just bringing out all kinds of stuff. Just too much. Well, you all, I'm getting ready to go in here and punch in. It's 6.35. Yeah, I'm finna go in here and punch in. And, uh, you know, I hope you all have a, a good day today. Um, it's cloudy right now. We don't have no sun. So that's not going to make it as hot, but it's hot. My car say 81 degrees and it's 6.30 in the morning. So it, it's hot. It's hot. We have tomorrow off because it's uh, June 19th. So Juneteenth, um, tomorrow, we have that day off. So <clears throat> that's good. And then um, come back to work Thursday and Friday. I don't know why they decided to give us uh, give us a day off in the middle of the week. That's just crazy to me. But they did. So, so anywho, you all have a great blessed day. I'm going to upload this video. And um, I uploaded the one for Monday. So you all will see that one today. And then I'll upload this one today. And try to get it up to you all. Okay? All right. So, um, have a great day today. Have a blessed day. And I will see you back here tomorrow on Juneteenth. Okay? All right. Bye.